today I'm going to be doing a review for you guys and it's going to be a review on two different products and they are both from Revlon. The first one is going to be on Revlon's new Color Burst um, Lacquer Balms and the Matte Balms and I picked these up at my local Walgreens and you can also get them at CVS I believe but I seen them at Walgreens and I definitely wanted to try them out. I have tried the um, stain bombs that they have and I really, really liked it. And one thing I do want to say about these is that um, like, unlike the stain bombs that Revlon came out with, these ones don't have the wrapping all the way around to seal them. And they only have a piece of plastic that holds the, the lid and the actual stick together. And I'm definitely not a fan of that because I did see in the store a bunch of them where they were ripped off and they were torn. And I just definitely was a fan of that. So make sure you check these bombs before you buy them because they could be really um, either destroyed or somebody else could use them and that's just not okay with me so make sure you check these before you buy them um, you definitely don't want to get one where the steel is broken or anything um, so definitely check those I decided to pick up six of them and I picked up three in the lacquer bombs and three in the matte bombs and let me tell you um, so far I'm really liking the matte bombs but to start off we're gonna start with the lacquer bombs and the first one that I picked up is in the color 130 tees and it's a sort of a orangey color and these are really glossy really um, moisturizing for your skin I mean for your lips and um, I really like them. The only thing that I've seen in them is they have a shimmer to it. And I'm definitely not a fan of shimmer. I'm not sure what it is, but um, these two have a lot of shimmer in them. And I'm not a fan of it, but this one does not. The next one is the color 140, and it's in the color Koi. It's a really, um, like, a brown tone with some gold shimmer in it. And... I am not a fan of this one like I thought I would be. It's a little less brown than I wanted it to be. Um, I, I actually wasn't really expecting a lot from the lacquers because um, in photos and from different reviews that I've seen, they are a little shimmery. And I decided to pick this one up because I thought it would be just um, like a non-shimmery one, like the orange one that I just showed you guys. But this one does have gold shimmer in it, and I'm sure you could totally pull it off if you had a nude lip and you wanted some shimmer to it. This would definitely go good with it. The next one is 115 in Whimsical. Um, when I looked at this one, I thought it was going to be super, super bright, and honestly, it's not bright at all. It has a little bit of a blue shimmer to it, and I think that's why I don't like it. When I think of pinks with blue shimmers, I think of little kid lip gloss. And I've never been a fan of shimmer lip gloss, and I've definitely never been a fan of little kid lip gloss. So um, I don't really care for this one in all honesty. It's just not my favorite. Um... I'm sure other people would really, really love it if you like some shimmer, but this one's not a fan of mine. And the matte ones, I got the color 215 in Shameless, and this is the one that I am wearing right now. I am totally in love with this purple color. Um, in my fall favorites video, I mentioned that I was totally into purples now since it's fall and stuff like that, and this was definitely right up my alley. I've been loving plum, purpley. Any type of purple colors I've been absolutely loving. So I decided to pick this one up and I wanted to put it on for you guys. So I did. And um, I really, really like it. The mattes are not super matte to where they are so drying. But they are matte enough. And I really like the way they smell. I like the way they feel. They do have a little bit of a pepperminty um, feel to them, smell to them. So, um, I really, really, really like this one. It just has the perfect moisture in it and... It has the perfect color in it. It's very vibrant, and I really, really like this one. My next one is 250 in Standout, and it's a really gorgeous maroon red color. And I think you could pull off this red color on anybody, any complexion, anything. Anybody could pull this off, and I really, really like this color. And I think it's a perfect color for fall, and I just really like this one. I cannot wait to try this one on and wear it, and I'm so excited, so... And my last one is 245 in Audacious, 
audacious, audacious, audacious. <laughs> okay, my last one is 245 in audacious, and this one is a really pretty corally um, orange color. And I honestly picked this one up because I thought it was going to be a brighter orange, but it's definitely not. It's a really light coral color, and this is perfect for summertime. I mean, I like it. You could totally pull it off in the winter too. Um, get a good lip liner for this and you are set to go. I really like this color. I love corally colors So I think this one's gonna be a really great color and I think anybody could honestly pull this off My next thing that I want to review is um, Another product from Revlon and I seen them today and I haven't seen them anywhere before actually So I walked into Walgreens and I seen them and these are Revlon's new um, eyeshadows, they're little singles, but you can attach them to each other and make your own like customized palette and I thought that was really if I can even do this and I thought that was really really cool so I picked up three colors one in gold one in copper one in cocoa and one in bone so I was like oh my god this is perfect so I've been looking for some new like um, single eyeshadows so I decided to get these and then when I found out that you can put them together and make little palettes that's awesome um one thing I'm not a fan is is if they can they can come up in different ways and I'm not a fan of that because I was trying to open them and they kept sliding off I think that's not a very good thing I think they should have had like a stopper at the top to where it can't slide off but it can slide off the bottom but that's just my opinion um and these are about $3 and I got them actually for two because there was a coupon that the lady at the counter let me use and um, I got a dollar off on each of them so that's a deal and um, I'm super excited because I got some really pretty colors for the fall and I'm pretty sure I'm going to do a tutorial right, on them. everyone so that is it for my review today and I'm totally excited that I actually got my hands on these Revlon Color Burst um, lacquer balms and the matte balms because I've seen them almost everywhere and I swear I've seen them at my Walgreens like three weeks ago but I was just really hesitant to buy them but um, I actually really like them. I'm not a fan of the um, lacquer ones but I'm definitely definitely a fan of the matte ones. I love everything matte. So those are right up my alley. They have great color pigmentation. The um, lacquer ones I'm not a fan of just because of all of the shimmer and everything in them. And I'm definitely not a shimmer girl. The only thing I like my shimmer on is my eyeshadow. And those are definitely not eyeshadows. So um, yeah, that is definitely my final review. Um, I love the new um, eyeshadows that they came out with. The pigmentation is great. I actually really like Revlon's um, colors anyways. So um, this is a really neat idea. They have so many different colors. They have blues and greens. They have purples. They have white. They have the neutral colors. I picked up four of them. So um, get your hands on those if you're looking for some new single eyeshadows. Let me know in the comments below if you liked any of the Revlon, um, either the lacquers or the matte balms. And let me know which one was your favorite. And let me know if you guys have any that you guys like and that maybe I should try out. Because I'm definitely always up for a new makeup product. So, thumbs up if you like the eyeshadows, the swatches, and let me know how you guys like this review. I don't think I've ever done actually a review on my channel. This is probably my first one. So, let me know how I did and if I can make any changes. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to follow all of my links down below to keep up with me. And I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Bye.